Hello and welcome to African Farming. My name is Batabile Muritwani and today we are at Johan Erlang's farm, situated between Machalisberg and the Rustenberg area. Today we are talking about external parasites and ways on how to manage them. To help us discuss this is Dr. Tapelo Makai from Ilanko, or as we call him, Dr. Taps. Hey, thanks for having me here. Dr. Taps, it's the rainy season and which means that farmers are going to be battling with external parasites such as flies, mosquitoes and ticks. What methods can they use to win this battle? Okay. So it's important for us to talk about dipping, the dipping program. Uh, but before we can get to that point, uh, I think uh, we need to recognize they can use to dip. You know, for instance, Rewaka plunge dip, where for instance, you know, it's a pool of water where the animals can jump in. You know, you can take a product like Melby Trash, uh, you add it with water and then in, animals can actually jump in there. Uh, there's a spray race, like a shower, uh, that, you know, animals can walk through and then in, they get poured by, by water. There's an injection, you know, your ivermectins, you know, uh, which are used to control both external and uh, internal uh, uh, parasites. And then we've got uh, a uh, dead line, which is a poro. You know, you put it on the back line of the animal, like literally on the back line of the animal, uh, and then it spreads. Now, the beauty about this product is that, you know, it's rain fast. What do I mean by that? Even if you put it before it drains, the rain doesn't actually wash it off. But I would like to advise the farmers, you know, because, you know, most of the cows, you know, they'll control the flies using their tails. You know, so if you can put a bit of dip on the actual tail, this would help, you know, to control and to spread uh, the dip itself. Now, dipping, as you say, when should a farmer start dipping his animals and how often should he do it? Okay. I think in trouble for good climbing the buhaka on a kibo shock about or the farmer at Arnold Clemley declines a hobala, Pampitana Lorum by Tolagara de producting an atena. Pampitana, it are bonds hurry, but the miller basse with this product in a Juan Lore Lene. Now, one thing that we need to remember, these dips are different. You know, you've got these oily dips which are pour-ons and then they would mix like a meat. Now, this, they will differ. Now, a farmer from one region will, you know, depending on you know, the infestation of ticks on that farm, they'll, do, they'll dip once a week, some will dip uh, every second week. So, but in the first place, we can dip in the first place, we can dip in the first place, how often. Now you mentioned that different types of methods of dipping. How should we learn? Can you find effective for palatiri? Naka na hana, how le chena na? How ka opala matete a khal melor, especially in our communal areas. We used to use uh, communal dip tanks where you find you know a whole community of farmers going to the dip tanks and dipping. In such instances, pana melor ba dipa at least once a week. No, they have to go there as often as possible. Now, Kabakalao, the technology has improved. You have products like Deadline, which you can just pour on the back line of the animal. Now, in that case, you don't have to go as often as, you know, other farmers that, that are, are heavily infested. But again, read the instruction on the products. Dr. Taps, Ralebo. Kilewili. Keep the conversation going. Log on to hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.